Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we are waiting on Angie to get here. Apparently she bought a tractor. I have no idea what it is, what she got, anything. I just know she borrowed my truck and said, I have to go get a tractor. And I'm like, okay, sure. So we're gonna be waiting for a minute, but hopefully she'll be here soon and we can see what in the world she's bought. Hey everybody. Why don't you join us for the Keating Tractor Show, August 27th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Liberal, Kansas. You can definitely bring the kiddos. There's going to be plenty of activities for them to enjoy, including, but not limited to, um, food, of course, dunk tanks. There will be some vendors. Come and meet Dave and I from Crazy D's Equipment. We hope to see you there. Hi! Guess what? What? <laughs> I bought a tractor! I see this! Ah. What did you buy? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited! Okay, well let's take a look at this here. Let's shut the truck off. Okay, don't be mad. I, I'm not mad. Okay. Interested. Okay. Alrighty, so here's your tractor. Yeah. So where did you find this thing? Garage sale. Garage sale? Yeah. What did yeah. you give for it? 400 bucks. Okay. Does it run? That's what they said. Uh, and I got new tires. Well, they're not really new. They're but kind they threw of, in tires for it. Yeah. They're Let's, kind of not, I mean, they're okay. Not, I mean, maybe not okay. And then I have this grill. Yeah, they threw the grill in. Yeah. See? It's not going to really do much good for you. Like this. When the whole front of the track, no, 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 other way. There you go. No, yeah, it's like that, but that ain't going to do much good because the front of the tractor's bashed in. I really don't want to hear you talk crap on my first tractor. <laughs> so. Well, I'm just saying the front of the tractor is smashed in. Okay. So that, we're going to need a new hood for lease. Do you know, is it stuck? I don't know what that means. Is the engine free? Will it turn over? I mean, they said it runs. Do we so. need the well? I'm I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't run. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you haven't tried to start it. I'm going to tell. So well, I I'm, think you need to try to start it before you tell so me it's not going to run. I'm going to point out multiple things to you right now. I don't here. want you to point out so. multiple things because this is my <laughs> first tractor, and I want you to be proud of it. Well, I tell you what. Okay. For 400 bucks, the rear rubber alone is worth what you paid for the tractor. They threw in a bird's nest, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bird's nest, or, you know, that, that <laughs> brings up the value. Hey, people like birds. So, let's let's get the doc over here and have him look at the motor. Okay. And see if it's... He's going to be mad. He, he won't be mad. He's, well, okay. he, what he'll do is whine because he's got to... <laughs> he's got will give him another aid in to work on, and the... He, uh, well, he'd rather go to the dentist than work on an 8-in Ford. Well, and this is a 9-in, actually, but still, same difference. Any in-series Ford, let's Doc just, doesn't like working on them at all. Let's tell him it's a Chevy 12. The, yeah, that's not going to work. If we tell him that, maybe he'll... You think? I I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get to. Let me hold Daniel! Doc! This is my 12 Chevy I just bought from a garage sale. It runs. Yeah, it's another N series Ford. Your favorite. Shh. So. They said it runs. They said it started. See if the engine's even stuck because that fuel line hasn't been hooked up forever. You that don't know is that. Black and dark. That's got old, you know, old gas old in it. Fuel. You don't know that. Um, the yeah. wiring, you'll have to fix that, I'm going to guess. Yeah, uh, but I mean, it does got good rear rubber. The front tires are usable. They're not great. They're not bad. But you want to see if that decent. engine turns over? Sure. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk around. It's going to start. I, I don't think it's going to It's going to start. Okay, a little. Let's see if you can get on that. Well, it wants to turn over. Does it got compression? Can you, does it got any? It feels like it looks like it gets a little compression to it. See? Come on, Doc. Okay. Well, is there. Do we got the. I got one battery cable. Yeah. Uh, I don't see a ground cable. Where is the. 
Is it up there in the battery box thing? It might be. Ugh. Yeah, that's where the battery goes. Yeah, here's There's the other no cable. battery. No, that isn't it. No. Here's, yeah, one, I had, just one cable? I just had the, yeah. There's not a ground cable in here. It's hot. It's quite warm. I had it in the sun all day. There's no battery. What's the fuel tank look like? Well, get it open. Ooh. E yeah. I want to see. I want to see. That's been a long time since that run. Um, it smells like gas, but it looks like mud. It's, it's <laughs> smells like gas, but it looks like mud. You guys have a lot of work yeah. to do. Yeah, someone's gonna help. <laughs> yeah, Christopher. No, I wouldn't uh, think of Christopher. No. I, I didn't was... get this thing loaded. You don't even bring the ramps with you. Well, I asked nicely and they loaded it for oh, me. Oh, yeah. Daniel. A little wink and a wiggle. Thanks <laughs> Wink, wink. Okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> so when you fix it, I'd like a horn on it too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so governor doesn't work. Governor it's frozen. Go. Governor's frozen. Mm -hmm. We don't need a governor because I won't go yeah, fast. You need a governor because it Oops. controls the speed of the motor. Um, so is it an eight in or a two in? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know. Man, come here. Sometimes they block crack here. Uh, don't say that. I tell you what. That's by the oil dilly. Is the block cracked? Right here? Yeah. Uh, it looks like it is. Yeah. Oh. From there to there. About that long of a crack. So, cold cracks. So they yeah. didn't get the, all the antifreeze they out. Get the so, I tell you what. I got a deal for you. You want to buy my tractor no, for 500? No, I don't want to buy your tractor. I'm, not gonna, I'm definitely not going to buy it for 500. It's a good deal. So, here's the deal. Okay. Here's the deal. I'll make okay. a trade with you. Okay. So, I got a better one. It's in a lot better shape. It needs rear rubber. Mm -hmm. Danny basically got it running. These tires are good. The rest of this tractor is nothing but a parts tractor. Oh, uh -huh. So I got I got a 930 over there that needs, or I got a 930. I got an eight in over there, it needs a motor. There's your motor, Dan. Mm -hmm. And- well, You said it's cracked. That, well, he, I got a good block and stuff. So I'll just have Danny we'll just, just rob the, this motor, put in that motor and yeah. stuff and i got a i got one that needs rear rubber and mm -hmm. needs fronts and i think those fronts will hold air once you get a tube and stuff in them they won't be yeah. the best fronts in the world this but i uh will just swap across and i'll bring that tractor up but here's the deal you're gonna have to help us fix it you're uh. gonna start buying tractors you're gonna have to help us work on them because this poor man right here is rather swamped in other projects that are actually profitable unlike this these things because you're not being very nice well, on my first tractor right. purchase i did okay. this all by myself and i will like and just a little bit of encouragement that you did, you did a good job you and there's good, good tires and well, it doesn't have tires here <laughs> tires got good rubber you did good there so okay. we'll can we i can, uh, be sorry we can swap this over can I point out that it's still on six volt? Is it still on six volt? Mm-hmm. Okay. What does that even mean? So you have you have twelve volt and six volt. Twelve volt batteries, what normal like what your car has. Car. Uh -huh. And six volt predated that. Before there was twelve volt, there was only the batteries were only six volt. And this is still on the old 1940s six volt system instead of the the 12 volt system. So it's an antique tractor. It is an antique so tractor. So then you're gonna I'm have to this is forties, nineteen forty, nine in. So Sounds 42 like with the two in would have started. So I'm guessing this is probably should say um, a nine in. Is the other tractor antique? Well, it's the same tractor. So yeah. you're getting basically, but it's in a lot better shape. And all we got to do is swap your tires over on the back of it. Yeah. Doc, and then you, Doc will teach you how to clean a carburetor for a nine in and put the carburetor on. And what else did that one need? Um, was there much more just to clean just a good carburetor was i gotta it? change the tires on a tractor i will help you you will not uh, do it yourself 
I don't. I mean, you can't that. do it. I don't think you could do it yourself. I probably could, Dave. I, well, just wait. I've got a lot of upper you, body strength. I think you could do a good job at it. Don't 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 get me wrong. I just think you. It'll probably take the both of us to get it done. But it starts with nine n. You did a good job, Dave. The mm -hmm. serial number starts with nine n. So the ser so it's either nine n or two n. Well, it's if it's a forty, it's a nine n because forty two is when the two n started, right during the war. I and think it's a nine n because if I and the Ford people will correct me, but I believe on the two n's that the hood point comes to a little more tiny of a, bit I, of a point. Do you think? It's I think possible. I think so. so um. Okay, so, I mean, it's not terrible for a first buy. No, it's not. You did a very good job. Okay. You, you, you've got, you got, you know, you need to go to the rubber. It's a little beat up, but it, for it, for what it is and the age of it, they're going to be. I mean, you should see the pile of them over there. How about the, I got a two in that's solid rust that's sitting out, the, out of the place. Yeah, so, we can, we can take the good bits of this, make the other tractor sellable, we can turn your 400 into 1500. Ooh. So, yeah, very but then, easily. but if I got to help, then. Well, that's, you know, so it's either we do it all and then I just, or you help and then we'll just, you do the whole, the whole profit thing will be yours. If you, if you're a part of it, if you want to just leave it up to me and Dan. No, I want to help. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. So. But only if I can take the tires off of this one and put it on the other one by myself. I okay. Yeah. By myself. All right. I don't want way. any help except for you telling me how to do it. Okay. okay. That's fine. I don't. Do you think these got calcium in them? Um. Judging by the rims, aren't eight out somewhere? I don't think they do either. I don't believe so they yeah, do. So yeah, you'll probably be able to get them lined up. They're going to be. It's it's going to be fun. It's always a pain in the butt changing the tires on the back of these. Yeah. So, but. All right. Okay. You did it. You bought it. Thank first you. Tractor. I'm so, so proud. Even though you, know, you tore my, my tractor down. Well, we've bought Doc. Some of our first Dave. tractors we've bought. Yeah. We're worse back than in this. the day when we started, this is how a lot of this stuff look, started mm -hmm. out for us. So. Okay. Well. You got to start somewhere, right? Yep. So okay. So the moral of the story is. Mm -hmm. Even if it looks like a rust bucket, it's worth 400 bucks if it's got good tires. <laughs> yeah. All right. Much. There you so, have it. Why don't you thank the people for coming in and watching? Thank you, people, for coming in and watching.